What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alonzo and you're watching Gulf Coast Smoke. So about two weeks ago, we did a YouTube short where we took Southern Hospitality, sprinkled it all over some cream cheese, smoked it, and then topped it with raspberry chipotle, and it was out of this world. So I got that recipe idea from one of my really good friends. At a barbecue competition, he actually put down a block of cream cheese, spread over that raspberry chipotle, and we went to town on it. The difference was he obviously did not smoke it and he didn't season it with Southern Hospitality, but that was so good that it inspired us to do that version of the smoked cream cheese. Today we're going to do that one again just to re-show you, but we're also going to add three more recipes. So I'm going to use Southern Bell on two blocks of Philadelphia cream cheese, and then we're going to top one of them with sautéed bacon and sautéed jalapenos, and then the other one's going to be topped with cheddar cheese and chives. So my favorite crackers in the world are those cream cheese and chives. I actually don't even remember the brand. Do you remember the brand? Captain something. Oh yeah, it's Captain something, right? Okay, so the, yeah, I think it might be Captain Wafers. So let's just say it's Captain Wafers. Whatever it is, those are my favorite crackers ever. And I was talking to my wife yesterday and I said, look, what should we do here? And we thought that this would be a really good idea. Smoked cream cheese, chives, cheddar cheese, hopefully gives me a good flavor and kind of recreates that cracker taste for me, but we'll see. And the last one, we actually went and bought some of this Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cinnadust, and we're gonna do a sweet smoked cream cheese, and we're going to use graham crackers to dip that in the end. So stick around with us. The beautiful thing about this recipe is that it's so simple. I think that when we did it the other day for that YouTube short, it took us all of like 45 minutes, and realistically, once you put it on the smoker, you don't really have to worry about it at all. We're gonna use the Traeger today because honestly, I don't see the point in lighting up my Weber Smoky Mountain or my barrel pit for this. So we're gonna use the Weber Smoky Mountain. I just said we weren't gonna use the Weber Smoky Mountain. We're gonna use the Traeger. It's already rocking and rolling at 250 degrees. And once we get these seasoned up, we're gonna take them outside and just let them go until they're done. It's pretty easy to tell when they're done. They kind of start cracking a little bit. But today I think we might put some of those little hash marks in it to make it a little bit better. My nose is running so bad right now because we were sauteing those jalapenos just a second ago and the seeds were just making our eyes and our nose go off the chain. So sorry if I sound a little bit funky. Anyway, come on in. I'll show you what we have to do. It's very simple. I don't even think I need to, but I'm going to anyway. And then let's get this stuff made. All right, so simply enough, we're starting off with Philadelphia cream cheese here gonna open that obviously no right or wrong way to do it and then from here like I said a second ago I think we're gonna do those hash marks just to try and make it look a little bit cooler for the thumbnail in the end jeez all right cool so again we can do a little Hash marks. So we'll go one way. Now the other. And again, this is optional. You actually don't have to do this. We didn't do it the first time, but like I said, I'm realistically thinking about the thumbnail. And that's why I want that to look cool. And so from here, I'm going to take Southern Bell and I'm going to season it. Ooh, I already know that's going to be good, right? Just because of the salt, pepper, everything that's on it. So there you go. And that's all that we're going to do. And to make it easier for us, my wife got these little pans. And we'll put this right in the middle. And that's going to make it easy for us to transfer it to the Traeger and then bring it out. I think we might try and take it out of this in the end in order to get a better thumbnail, but we'll, we'll see. I think this is going to make it easier for us in the end to go ahead and get it in and out of the Traeger though. So we'll see. And like I was telling you guys, this jalapeno and bacon is going to go on top in the end. And this is savory, a little bit spicy. The savoriness from the Southern Bell is going to pair perfectly with it. So we're going to use rich crackers for this in the end just to give a nice traditional cracker Hopefully get a great flavor. And in the end, this 
this one will have the chives and the cheddar cheese. So what we are gonna do with these is, we're not gonna put this on after it's cooked. We'll put this on towards the end when we feel like we have about 10 minutes left for the cook to be done. So we can get a melt on the cheese and we can get a nice texture on the chives as well. We'll do the same thing with the bacon and jalapenos. that raspberry chipotle, this is gonna go right on top. So the same thing for this, we'll put it on about five, 10 minutes before it's done, just to make sure it gets a little warm and it gets nice and incorporated with that cream cheese. And last but not least, that cinnamon toast crunch, Cinnadust. This is honestly the one I personally am most excited about. Sounds so good. I'm going heavy. Why not, right? It smells exactly like cinnamon toast crunch, <laughs> right? <laughs> it smells exactly like cinnamon I love cinnamon toast crunch too. Dude, that smells so good. Hmm. You guys ever tried this? Let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever tried this. All right, so this is all of the smoked cream cheese we're doing today. Again, we got Southern Bell here, Cinnadust, Southern Hospitality, and more Southern Bell. So on top of this one, jalapenos and bacon, raspberry chipotle. I think we're just gonna drizzle a little bit more of the spice here on this one in the end. And over here, we're gonna do cheddar cheese and chives. Let's put these on the Traeger, wait about 30, 45 minutes, and then this is gonna be done. All right, so about an hour later, let's take a look at everything. You can see the cream cheese is cracking really nice there. So on this first one, this is the Cinnadust. Let's just add some more, make it simple, get it down in some of those cracks. Over here on this Southern Bell, I have the jalapenos and the bacon. We'll put that right on top Ooh, I think that's gonna be good on the other on the other southern bell let's put the cheddar cheese and this was a third of a cup of cheddar cheese just if you guys were interested in knowing and on top put those beautiful chives And then here right in the middle, let's get that raspberry chipotle. And let's let these go for about 10 more minutes. Basically, I just wanna see that cheese melted and then I think these are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so let's get right into this. It's time to taste these different types of smoked cream cheeses and let you guys know what I think. And like I said, drop some comments down below on what you guys are going to do moving forward. Send me some pictures on Instagram, Facebook, join our Facebook group. I'm really interested to see what you guys come up with. So we're gonna start with the chives, cream cheese, and cheddar cheese. All right, and don't forget, my favorite cracker ever is the cream cheese chives. So I have really high hopes for this. We're using rich crackers. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's so good. That's so good. Please try that. We haven't even tried it. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That is sincerely. That is sincerely so good. You guys have to try that out. I just. 
I don't know. I mean, it tastes like the crackers, but better because you get the nice smoke flavor. Southern Bell, the cheddar cheese, the chives, the cream cheese. It's just... We got to move on to the next one. I don't know if anything is going to live up to that because that is so good. But now it's time to try the sautéed jalapenos and bacon. And this one's seasoned with Southern Belt as well. All right. And I did forget to tell you guys earlier, this is fresh jalapenos. We just diced it real thinly and threw it in while we were sautéing that bacon. Here we go. Mmm. -hmm. I get bacon first. Here comes the spice of the jalapeno. That one's not too spicy. My son walked up. He's trying to watch his sister's tablet. I think he's going to be okay. That one, okay, so now the heat is kind of kicking up and I can taste it. It's not too bad, obviously. It's just a jalapeno, but that one is actually extremely good as well. As time goes on, the jalapeno flavor is definitely getting to the back of my throat, but it tastes really good. I love jalapenos. I think if you guys like jalapenos, of course, who doesn't like bacon? You're gonna really love that. It is extremely savory, and so is the first one. So I think you guys are gonna like both of those. That jalapeno, man, that tastes super good, especially because we mixed it and it cooked in with that bacon grease, so that's killer but now it's time to move on to the raspberry chipotle and southern hospitality you guys saw us do this one in a youtube short let's try that one or retry it basically as soon as that raspberry chipotle hits my tongue so good i love that stuff i love that stuff it just tastes sweet right off the bat tiny bit of heat but it's not too much. If you're even a little bit afraid, don't be. It's not too much at all. Honestly, right now I'm going the chives and cheddar cheese first. Second, raspberry chipotle. And so far, last place is the bacon and jalapeno. They're all extremely good though. But now my, I'm so excited to try this one. This one is one that I was really, really looking forward to when we thought of this idea. I got excited because, you know, that's what I do. I get excited when it comes to food. But this one is hit with that cinna dust, the cinnamon toast crunch cinna dust. And I'm using graham crackers for this one. So let's try that too. All right. Mm, that's not as sweet as I wanted it to be. Hold on. That's not as sweet as I wanted it to be. It is good. Don't get me wrong. It is good. But I think maybe we need to drizzle maybe like some honey or something on top because it's just not sweet enough to me for what I was expecting, right? When I eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it's like, dude, this is super sweet. At the end, I drink the milk and it's like really sugary and cinnamony. And this honestly just doesn't, it doesn't give me that same taste. And that's really what I was looking for. So I'm going to have to switch it up now. I go number one, cheddar cheese and chives. Number two, chipotle. Number three, bacon and jalapenos. And then I have to say that last, unfortunately, my, the one I was so excited about is going to be the cinna dust. And the reason is because, like I said, it simply wasn't as sweet as I wanted it to be. I was thinking this is more like of a dessert type thing. Maybe if we threw on some, what if we did some like fruit or something? I was going to say like do our own cinnamon sugar mix because that's, yeah. it's going to be more coarse. Yeah, that's like, true that too. Is, it really is like dust. Yeah, it is. It is. So it is. That's, that's a good point my wife said. So that really is like a dust. Maybe if we did our own cinnamon and sugar, it would have been better. Maybe if we would have added like some fruit, maybe some strawberries or something like that on top, it would have been better. It would have been a really, really good dessert. Like I said, that's what I was looking for, but... Unfortunately, I didn't get it. Overall, like I said, the name of the game today was keep it simple. This is going to be easy for you to do at your house. And right now, everyone's doing smoked cream cheese. So we figured let's jump on the bandwagon and do a video as well. 
I'm gonna go and finish the rest of this cheddar and chives one by myself. My wife is not allowed to have any, and I will catch you guys really soon. Hopefully, if you enjoyed the video, you guys subscribe, like, do all that cool stuff. You know, I was looking through my analytics and I noticed that most of you guys that watch actually aren't subscribed. It's free to subscribe and it helps us grow, so I would appreciate it. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.